Hello, good morning. This is Amelia. And today we're just gonna do a little um this vlog, I said, I guess. So right now it's just Logan and I here. Um sitting on my bed. We've been up for the past few hours just playing around, watching him play around. But say hello. <laughs> He's playing with the pack of whites, but um I'm about to get him changed up again and I'm going to warm my car up because it's snowing outside and I have to go and get the girls. Also, uh, while my car is warming, I'm going to go ahead and pack the kids a, um, like emergency bag. Um, I don't really like going to get them or anything without having like an emergency bag. That's just like extra diapers, wipes. Um, I always make sure I have them something to drink and snacks in there and an extra outfit. And I put like a blanket in my car. And I do that simply because you don't know what's going to happen like on your way to or from wherever you're going. And plus, if you got kids, you never know what's going to happen in general. So, especially since it's snowing outside. Yeah. Especially since it's snowing outside, I'm going to go ahead and just get that bag packed up. And then when my car finished warming up, I'm going to just go ahead Go to the gas station so I can make sure that I fill up my tank and then go and pick my babies up and then um praying that everything you know goes okay and I make it back home. I usually don't drive in the snow, but I gotta really get my babies. So um yeah, I'm planning on gonna get them and coming back and then doing some cooking. I have to cook myself something for lunch for work. And some, I have to cook food for work. Um, yes, yeah, cook something to take to work for lunch throughout the night. And I have to, um, you know, I like I typically like to cook food for Pat to have when he get home, for the girls to have for like lunch, dinner maybe, and stuff like that. Um, I need to start taking food out really, but I'll probably just make something quick for lunch. I'm thinking. Probably, I know for sure it's going to be something with rice, like just white rice. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get things started, get my baby together, and get my car started, pack up the girls' things so I can go to the gas station and pick them up. And then I'll see you guys, like, in a minute. As you can see, the snow, it is so beautiful out there. Oh, my goodness. Hey y'all, just real quick, I wanted to show you guys um, what I packed in my kids' bag. So I got everything, and I bought them these little book bags, like, for their birthday. Um, yeah, so I like getting them small little book bags like this, and they can just, you know, for when I pack them up stuff or whatever. But for starters, I do want to show that I do have them little blankets. They borrowed in their brother's blanket. Um, and then this, this, they had this since they were really little. Actually, I think this, yeah, yeah these or both theirs. They've had these since they were um, born. So I got them little blankets just in case. And then an LOL surprise bag and a JoJo bag or whatever. So in the bag, I have a can of Vienna sausages. Now, I don't usually buy that. I only buy that around this time of the year. And that's only like if the power and all that stuff go out, you know, so they can still have, um, I don't know, I try to plan for survival. So um, these are not everyday things but only if they're for emergencies basically i got them these they love these go go squeeze um the fruit pouches i got them some crackers that i'll probably take out the bag so they won't get smashed so cheese and peanut butter crackers um a yahoo milk yahoo yahoo <laughs> yahoo milks um i just realized well i found those at walmart it's in a case of like eight i think i got them bottled water they love water only out of like they love water plain water out the bottle now the flavor water they can have any anyway um i normally get them like the small bottles but yeah and then just some wipes that they're both sure so it's not in a bag and i have them three diapers a piece and an outfit so a long sleeve shirt with some pants and I didn't get any socks or shoes because they already had it on. They have a coat on. Um, I should have got them a um, a t-shirt, but let's just hope we don't have to use this today. I'm planning to get a um, 
like i want to get like a suitcase and it's about time where we'll put like different food sometimes we'll order like mres off the internet and then get little things like vienna sausages and stuff that you don't really necessarily need to warm up like via electric electricity or whatever so get stuff like that canned tuna and all that stuff just so we can have um yeah summer sausage and stuff just so we can eat on if the power was to go out for like a day or two or however long really but yeah so i'm gonna get them get a suitcase really for the family put like extra diapers wipes water milk formula well formula and like little pouches and stuff like that the milk pouches and everything for the kids keep it out and also stuff for us just in case but anyway that is my survivor bag so emergency bag i should say so yeah i'm gonna go ahead go to the gas station and go and pick up my babies and we will see you guys soon all right y'all i am back and i have my babies so we're gonna just go ahead and make this story quick so um anyway long story short i got with this guy he didn't have anything to offer he but a good conversation pretty much but a few of the red flags were every time people asked about my babies like if they wasn't with me because at the time they were with me five days a week and they were with their dad two days on his off days but every time um people would mention the girl's dad or people would be like hey where's your where's the um twins at i'll be like oh they're with their dad he would get some kind of oh no this weird thing eventually he'll like sit there and look around and when we make it to the car or something he'll be like you always trying to talk about your baby daddy and stuff like that and i'm like boy how the hell am i talking about my baby daddy if somebody asked me where my kids are that's where they are so if they bothers you then you need to grow up i don't know to tell you you know just arguing because i said they were their daddy i said his name so it became really crazy um so he would do stuff like that and i was never a person i'm not about to shut down for you now i was nice because you know i'm kind of i kind of am i'm nice but firm <laughs> if that makes sense but um you know i'm respectful as long as you respect me so you're not about to talk shit to me and you're not about to disrespect me and think i'm just go be okay with it i mean some people it's like whatever i'm just gonna ignore you you all know no better but you know other people you ain't finna sit here in my face and try to play me like that right so i know um one time his mom and uncle I mean, his mom and auntie was arguing about something. So we went there to drop his auntie off at his mama's house. Now his mom and auntie was arguing about something and I walked into the house and I spoke to his mom. His mom was standing in the bathroom. What's the matter? His mom was standing in the bathroom and I said hey to her and she slapped the door in my face. So I went into his room and I sat down waiting on him to get in. And uh, he eventually came in the house and she after she slammed the door on my face and I just went to set out she rushed, she like ran not ran but she walked out the house and got in her car and burnt out now when he got there because I'm respectful I told him I said hey your mama closed the door on my face when I spoke to her and I don't think that's sweet now this is like the last time that we were together because after this stupid ish I love so I said hey your mama um you know I spoke to your mama and she slammed the door on my face and stuff I felt like that was disrespectful and I really don't like it so I'm kind of not in a good mood and he's trying to defend her like oh well yeah her and her sister just um her and my auntie just argued so she's kind of mad about that and stuff like that and I'm like that ain't got nothing to do with me because at the end of the day if I didn't come in the house and speak that would have been a problem and I wouldn't even be happy with myself because that's disrespectful but you don't slam the door on somebody's uh face i said that has nothing to do with me at all that's not my situation i said hi all she had to do was say hi we didn't have to engage in the conversation or nothing so he gets mad uh, you just don't understand blah 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 i know i don't understand that's disrespect because i'm not disrespectful and i don't like people being disrespectful to me so he asked me if he can use my car y'all I said, no, Thompson, can I use your car to go to the store? Hell no, you can't use my car to go to no store. 
So I was walking and this ninja decided to pull my hair. Why did he do that? I don't know. Now, he just bought his mama a fish tank for her birthday. He put my hair. We started hustling and tussling. Cause you don't put your hands on me. Your mama already disrespected me and you sounded stupid so you don't put your hands on me. Either way, you don't put your hands on me. And you see Naraya. And he decided to, um, you know, he decided to get handsy. So we started tussling and shit and I started fighting. And the next thing you know, I blink at him and his, his mama's fish tank in the damn wall. And he's in there talking about you. You broke my mama fish tank. You broke her. You put a hole in her wall. Boy, fuck you. That fish tank in that wall. And so eventually, he stole my car, y'all. He broke my phone, like all in that day. I don't even know how he ended up getting my car. I think my keys fell out in the house while we was fighting. Cause it was in my hands, so they fell. And then he ended up getting up and he like grabbed them and like ran off in my car. And he like took my car and he uh. He took my car and he eventually somehow got my phone, took it and like smashed it. I'm like, dang, you dedicated because he smashed it to like shreds and dust. I'm like, you are dedicated. But then eventually, you know, I called the police. I didn't do no police report for some reason. I don't know. I'm just not into stuff like that, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I was just like, if he go to jail, I can't retaliate or something. I don't know. <laughs> some stupid, silly stuff. But I just eventually he did go to jail i don't know what he went to jail for but that wasn't my business i don't care about none of that um oh also another red flag he used to always want to be gone like you can't find yourself to go to work but you want to uh sit there and you be gone all day all night you think you use my car but you ain't but you go on all day, all night. You can find time to go out all day. And then as soon as somebody say, hey, you want to ride? Ain't, I mean, you need to go to work. You ain't got no no ride to work. And then y'all look. Now, I don't have a reason to be working in no warehouses. I work in warehouses like in between jobs. That's only if I'm at a job and I'm like, okay, I'm going to quit today. Forget it. And I'll be at, work, at a warehouse and go get a job tomorrow and start like Monday or something like that. But I'm behind a salt truck. But anyway... Yeah, he wanted me to not do my jobs because at the time I was doing help, um, home health care. So he wanted me to not do my jobs and come and work at a warehouse with him. And the only time he thought he needed to go to work was if I went to work and worked with him. Boy, no, I am not about to go to work with you just to make sure you work. I'm like, what does that even mean? That don't make no sense. No. And then, um, what else did he do? Yeah, he tried to be controlling. You can't control me. That one time he tried to put his hands on me, it backfired. And then, look, he messaged me. I mean, he called me one day. He gonna say, oh, I thought you was sweet. I didn't think you was gonna do this and do that. See, you don't play with people like that. Yes, I am sweet. I'm cool. And like I said, I'm firm. When I say something, I mean it and stuff. I ain't for the play about my kids and all that stuff. We got room to joke, but not about my kids and important business. But you think you should have just put your hands on me. And ain't finna do nothing about it. You think you go say what you want to say to me and ain't gonna say nothing back? You think you finna use my car to drop me off at work so I can go to work and make the money? And you think I'm finna take care of you in the process? Absolutely not, baby. I have kids and they are my priority. So, anyway, I had to. Oh, after that, my car was in. My car ended up being damaged because. He did something to the to the driver's door. He like pulled it all the way out. It took months to find out. Actually, it took until I got with Pat. But he, I guess he like for, he was trying to force the door open while it was locked like a dummy. And he um what happened? Yeah, he tried to force the door open while it was locked like a dummy. And then so then you couldn't use the door no more. So I couldn't use the driver's door. And then when I picked up my car, that was the only door that was working. So I couldn't use it. The key fob didn't work to unlock the other doors. So I had a sunroof pad, broke it off, and slid his little butt up in there and started my car. And, you know, opened the door so I could get in. But then, eventually, it took a few months for, for 
us to realize that Pat, and he was playing with my door trying to fix stuff. He always trying to fix something. And he like put a screwdriver in the door and it like popped back into place or something. So it was forced out and got stuck and he like fixed it. But, um, I don't know. Like, don't just be settling for people just because they look good to you. Just because the sex is good to you. Just because it's different than the last. Like, whatever. No don't be settling if i gotta take you to work if i gotta force you to go to work if i gotta work with you just for you to work do you want to use my car oh she fell asleep you want to use my car or whatever the case may be like no i can't i can't do it like pay attention to the red flags and stuff especially the ones like if he trying to be controlling if he trying to become abusive if he um you know a narcissist and all this extra stuff and then we went around his family a few times and his family his family was like you need to calm down and stop doing this and that or whatever i guess he thought i wouldn't go leave but boy please i left the husband you thought i wouldn't go leave you another person marked off the list but and then it's like it's crazy to think about though in positives on the positive side it's crazy to think about because you don't realize what you missing why you waste your time with those people wasting time trying to make it work you the only one trying to make it work you just doing things to make them happy but you're not necessarily happy because you working so hard to make them happy that you neglect yourself you forget about yourself so after that i start learning myself again and eventually like uh a while afterwards that's when i ended up with pat and stuff like at his house as a friend and it's like when i was with pat and we was just friends and he was still doing stuff and and like he's never been with a kid before he's never had kids before nothing like that and the fact that you are asking me to help you you know teach you how to help me that's what you wanted me to do i said hey you know basically he never been, had a kid never been around a kid didn't know how to change diapers didn't know how to do this or that but in a, he wanted me to help him learn how to help me and i thought that so beautiful and that we wasn't even dating we wasn't having sex or nothing but he just truly wanted to be that person be that support you know so he don't know how to cook but buying food buying groceries so that i can cook you know helping me prepare stuff and watching the kids so i can go and do what i need to do taking the kids so i can take a nap because i tell pat like he'll be like oh you look sleepy yeah i'm tired i need a nap you know but i'm with the kids oh i take the kids you go in there and take a nap or whatever or if we all in the bedroom and we're playing watch the tv or something and i doze off even to this day he always makes sure that he take the kids into another room so that they won't wake me up eventually i wake up anyway but you know it's just a principle um yeah it's just so sweet taking me out because he read me enough to know that i was having a bad day he read me to know that i'm not you know going i'm not doing okay at the moment and it was just so sweet and so genuine and the fact that i was able to talk about anything talk and say stuff and he's not offended even after we got together like even to today i can say you know say something hey i'm just having a bad day you know i'm thinking about you know i had a dream about or whatever anything and he don't get offended if i say um yeah you know if we driving somewhere and then i have a flashback like oh yeah you know my ex-husband used to take me here and this used to be out every place and stuff not saying that i just say stuff to try to throw it in his face or be disrespectful or nothing like that but you know when something's on your mind sometimes it's better to clear your mind he got a clear understanding i don't know i want that man i had that man we're not meant to be together but we are amazing co-parents and stuff and he know where he's staying at in my life he's confident i make sure that he know exactly where he's staying at in my life and i appreciate him i love him and nobody's gonna take his place and stuff like that because then our communication is always open we joke about things from the past like before he was with me um before i was with him or whatever you know we just have that open communication in the relationship even though after us having logan and dealing with the kids and stuff like that sometimes we do get stressed and then we don't communicate as much or sometimes we just don't feel like talking about it or something like that now but eventually we come back around to it and we do that communication or whatever but anyway enough of that i am currently 
we're down the street from my house. My kids are tired and ready to take a nap. And when I get home, I'm sure they will not be ready to take a nap. But I'm just going to go ahead and spend the rest of the ride with them and make sure we just continue to make it home safe. And I'll see you guys later. Hey y'all, it's me. I'm back. I'm at work and you see what time it is. So I just got here not too long ago. Anyway, I was planning on um, filming something when I got home with the kids, but we were, we got caught into some things. Like I started playing around with them and Logan and spending time with them. Then um, I started to cook. I had to get my work clothes together and I cooked stuff for me to have for lunch for work. I cooked them lunch and dinner. I made sure Pat had something warm to eat when he got home. Talked to him for a little bit, spent time with him and the kids and things like that. Just, you know, had a little family time outside of, you know, the camera. Because we don't have that much time, especially when I have to go to work after he get from work. So, yeah, I guess I'm going to just finish this night. I may come back a little later with a story time or something. I don't know for sure. But if not, I will see you all again later.